Hi everyone, it is Sunday morning. I've literally just washed my face, as you see, I've got no makeup on, I've got some lip balm on, and done my hair. And I'm not gonna, I'm thinking, I was thinking about maybe doing like a celebrity video, but nothing else has really gone on apart from Katie Price got some more surgery on her face. If I was gonna talk about that, I'd rather talk when you can actually see how she looks, kind of thing, you know. And um, I don't wanna just do a video for the sake of it. But I will be getting into more celebified videos and that soon. But this week is actually a really important week for me. This is my last. When you see this, I will have already moved. But this week for me is my last full week down in my Kent home. I know. Um, I mean, this is quite... Because this is the first house I ever bought and... Um, Getting on for 10 years ago now, I was quite young considering a lot of people in the property market down here can't get on the property market till in the 30s to buy the first house and I was in my 20s. But um, yes, and on Friday, I am actually moving up north for good. I'm really excited in a lot of ways. I'm kind of nervous, but I'm excited because I'll see my cats and I'll see Alex, obviously, and I won't be going back and forth all the time, which I've had enough of doing now. You know, it's I've had enough. And I was just saying, I love how my highlights are turned out. I don't know how you can see. Gemma from Raw, absolutely love them. But got all my colours. So when I go to my next hairdressers, they could have the colours. So that's good, isn't it? That was so nice to do that. My God, my neighbour is blinking crazy. You know, I had all the snow where it's all gone. He's out there washing his car, standing on the, like the wall or something. What's the point in washing it loads today? It's going to be so much slush out there still. He's an absolute douche. Anyway, but um, he's a bit weird, my neighbour, not going to lie. But um, yeah, so I'm kind of, a, I feel a little bit emotional about it all because obviously I'll be further away from my family. I'm actually seeing my parents tomorrow night and go around there for something to eat. But um, it's not that far away. It's what, four hours in the car? So basically, before you left, when we used to leave, i say half six at night, we'll be down here by 11 o'clock or half 11. So it's not that bad at all. Especially go those sort of times, but that's not bad, is it? So it's not like we're moving to the end of the earth or we were thinking of moving abroad. So, but if we were Brexit, we were sort of changed our thoughts. And that one day we will be moving to Spain or Portugal. That's our little dream. We will do it. We've managed to get this house. We will do it. Um, maybe no later than say, I don't know. I don't want to be any later than sort of like in my mid-40s before I do it, if you know what I mean. You don't want to leave it too late. And I know that's not old. But I want to be, I don't want to be too old before I do it, you know. But yeah, so I'm going to have a bit of a chill day today. I'm going to be lighting my wax. I'm sort of, I'm going to have to leave some stuff down here for Alex to come back down here to do some building work. So he's going to have to collect some of my stuff and bring it up when he comes up. I'm just bringing up the stuff I need. Um, I've got a lot of stuff up there, but I want to take some makeup bits I like and stuff like that. Um, but I've got makeup up there, but I've only got like one palette. I've got like a minimal, so I'll just take a few bits that I want. But to be honest with you... I, only, I don't use like face makeup really anyway. I use a bit of powder and bronzer, but I don't use foundation or concealer, apart from concealer under the eyes, because whoo, these bags. But um, yeah, so anyway, I'm going to have something to eat and um, get on for the rest of my day. But I hope you're having a lovely weekend. So for my breakfast, I'm going to be having these. They're the Cinnamon Swirls Millie's, like the Millie's Cookies cook at home. To be honest with you, they're not all that good, but I've got to use the stuff up in my freezer. So I'm going to have them along with a massive coffee. Passion Fruit Martini by Yankee. The problem I've had with all of these batches of wax melts, they've smelt of near enough nothing. They've all had a very similar scent. Nothing is very different between them. I've still got my favourite, which is Pink Sands, which I'm hoping will still smell, because that is one of my favourite wax melts of all time. But do you know what? They've been terrible. I don't know if it's this batch. I don't know if you can tell when they were made or anything like that. Oops, I don't know, but I only got them last year. And they have been abysmal. So just had my breakfast and just watched a bit of coach trip. I was talking to Alex on the phone. But what I'm also going to be doing from next Monday, I'm getting myself back in shape. I put on a few LBs. I'm not saying I'm fat. 
I'm not huge or anything like that. I'm quite lucky when it comes to weight, I guess. Some people put on weight a lot easier than me, but I'm not happy and I don't feel confident. Plus, I've had a few issues with my stomach, with reflux and stuff. So, I'm hoping if I had to do some working out, things like that, I'll lose some weight, get in shape and get a bit healthier. I'm going to be eating healthier. Obviously, I've been on a... I've really... Oh, sorry, I've got to move. <laughs> I've been on a kind of diet of beige for like the last little while since I've been at this house because... I haven't got anything to cook with so it's just stuff you can chuck in the oven so i'm going to be trying to work out at least four to five days a week next week i'm going to do it in the morning before i start work i did this before i lost a shit ton of weight and after all i actually really enjoyed it i'm going to be doing like all the workout dvds and stuff once i'm a bit more with it i'll show you it's going to be scary but i'll show you so i'll start pro you know showing you my progress as well so i'm super excited to do that i've got them all ready so i just need to you know turn them on, you know, put them in a DVD player and go, so I'm still going to be getting up early in the morning, I used to get up for work just before 6, so I don't obviously have to do that, but I'm going to be getting up, I'm thinking, sorry my thumb, I'm going to be getting up, I think, around about half 6, and um, still put a little bit of makeup on, so I might want to go out and stuff, and um, and say, I'll do it a little bit more leisurely, and then by sort of half 7, maybe 8 o'clock, do an hour, if I can, probably a bit less than that to begin with, working out, and then I'll start work at 9, 9.30. Might start work a little bit earlier. Um, yeah, so that is the plan. And once I'm, you know, once I'm a bit more in shape, I'll start showing me my progress. And and then, you know, you can sort of, I'll show you what I'm doing and stuff like that. And the stuff I do is all fun. It's like dancing and things like that. You don't have to go to a gym if you don't want to. So that's what I'm going to be doing. So I'm just trying to now sort out my stuff when I go back up to Newcastle on Friday. Obviously, Alex is going to be getting the rest of my stuff pretty soon. But just in case there's any delay for whatever reason, you never know, do you? Say that the weather, he comes down here and there's something going on with the weather or something happens with the building. Oh, no, most of the building work's done. But say stuff takes longer than usual, I'm an absolute eyelash junkie so i'm going to take all of these up with me and you have to remember i'm taking all of my stuff up in like a real small bag and not even in a fancy bag i'm just putting my stuff in like a bag for life i'm absolutely i should be bringing a wheelie bag but i can't be bothered i'm not putting loads in there my bag for life at the minute has like chargers keys that i don't um you know the, the ones for the newer house and just like plug bits and stuff like that and it's actually pretty it's not full up you know because i want to have it by my feet on the train so i can get stuff out um yeah so anyway i'll show you the ones i'm bringing up i've tried these before i actually wear them all the time they're, they're from super drug natural edition 14 you can get these to last longer just be by being super careful with not picking off the eyelash glue loads and the mascara loads on them so obviously pick off what you have to but be careful with them and also i'm glad i'm doing this video because some of these i haven't used before and at least then i'll know if i remember which ones they are so i'm going to be taking number 46 exaggerate i think these are quite pretty for a nice natural look by enchanted i well enchanted rose allure and I have this texture ones, um, number 57 from Ilure. I get these all on offer. Um, this is very similar to this one. So look, this is number 14. It's more wispied out of the edge. And these ones are a bit more in the middle. And I also have these Kiss Wonder Tents, I find. So I try and get in the lights so I can see it a bit more. I find the Kiss brand don't tend to, tend to last as long. This is called Blooming. They're like a double layer. But I won't be taking them all like that. I have got, let me just show you an old little box from velour eyelashes i've got some of these on ebay like forever ago so what i will be doing i can undo this i will just be put this is like um magnetized so if you can see i can chuck them all in now and they're secure and safe So I'm just about to melt Moonlight by Yankee. As I said before, they've all been very disappointing. This one smells a bit stronger, so I'm praying this one's a bit stronger. So just about half a bath and wash this mullet of hair. So I'm going to do that. I've been also sorting out the makeup I'm going to take up on Friday. Obviously, I have boxes of like palettes and well, not boxes of palettes. I've got like one box of like lipsticks, palettes, and glosses, and then I have another box of like skin, like bronzers but concealers and stuff like that and blushes and highlights so and um 
eyeliners I think I can't remember but I have a couple of boxes and I have a box of hair care a box of skincare and a box of kind of random um which Alex will be bringing up to me when he um finishes down here and comes to the bank up and by the time you've watched this I'm sorry these aren't up to date at the moment he'll probably already be back up <laughs> but so I've been going through them and trying to whittle down what I want to take it's gonna be a struggle it was a struggle but yeah I'm just trying to whittle it down because I also want to do some nice glittery festival -y kind of looks I'm probably a bit old to be doing that kind of stuff but I enjoy doing it it's a bit of fun and why can't you in your 30s have a bit of fun with makeup you know um why not so I'm gonna be doing that but I'm gonna be having a bath um probably leave the conditioner on my hair what I do sometimes is I shampoo my hair um let it dry off a little bit and then put the conditioner on, leave it on for half hour, hour, and then rinse it off. That's what I like to do. Still absolutely loving. Can you see the gorgeous highlights Gemma from Raw did? I absolutely love them. So if you're looking for someone in the Dartford area who does lovely highlights, get Gemma from Raw. I only got a T section done. I never get the full lot done ever. <laughs> but um, yeah, so I'm going to have a bath right now. And tonight is naughty piggy food. I'm going to be having dirty chicken. Hi everyone, so I'm just on my way to work, but this is a bit of an emotional day today, I've got to be quick. Last day in the Kent house, me, I'm actually going up tonight. I'm really happy, but I'm also a bit emotional. I'm so silly. <laughs> I'm really glad to move, but obviously it's a bit emotional. It's my first house I ever bought when I was in my 20s, in my 30s now, but yeah, onwards and upwards. It is Friday well it's now afternoon I've been filming some videos and I haven't filmed any videos for blinking ages I tell you but I'm back on it like a car bonnet and I'm gonna start filming some videos I've just filmed some a majority of wax related today and I've just done my first week four days a week well, you know three days at home one day in the office and I think it went okay I went on an email today on a Friday Friday's my day off just to look at a few things just to be good you know and just do you know just have a look at a few things you know and that's done so now I've been filming some stuff I've got to pop out but yeah I've been filming some videos and I've got some really fab stuff coming to me in the post soon i'm so excited i've had some really really great companies contact me asking me to if i wanted to review some of their products i also had walker's crisps yes i kid you not i had walker's crisps contact me they saw i did a taste test if you know they did those new fragrances um we have to decide which one she preferred the best. Well, they obviously saw I did that video and they contacted me, it was on Friday, saying to me that 
they want to send me a surprise package for supporting them. How blinking fantastic is that? And I love crisps. So as soon as I get that, I'll show you it all. I'm hoping I get it soon because I'm just so excited to see what that is. And I have a feeling it's because it's their 70th anniversary. I have a feeling they're going to be bringing out some more wax. Wax, I'm going to talk about some more crisps. So I'm excited for that. But today is a miserable bloody day. It's absolutely rainy and shit outside. It's absolutely crap. So I have been filming videos, as you can see. It's a fancy top. And I have my Minnie Mouse pajama or mickey mouse pajama bottoms on standard as i said pissing down outside i'm gonna have myself something to eat in a minute i'm thinking i'm just gonna because all i've had is a biscuit so i think god yeah all i've had is a biscuit it's about three o'clock oh but i need to um do one more video i've melted some yankee candle yankee yankee wax melts and I'm going to be honest with you, they've been absolute shit. There's a couple in there which are half okay, but their stuff at the minute is so inconsistent. For a company like that who has an amount of money to do testing in such a mass... Oh, God, to me, it just makes me annoyed because there are so many other companies out there that are so much better than them and cheaper. But anyway, so I'm going to do that video quick. I'm really not even in the mood to do it now because it's just a... I don't like doing bad reviews, but it's fair people who watch my videos know i'm honest and i just realized i've got gross lip scum that is disgusting Ugh. so yeah but anyway so i'm gonna do that outside as i said is absolutely shit but we have another snow warning we have a snow warning for tomorrow and sunday i don't think we're gonna get jack but we'll see what happens so I finished all my videos and you know what? I have just done probably one of the worst Yankee Candle reviews ever. The wax melts I've melted were all so rubbish. Oh, I hate doing videos like that, but do you know what? I'd rather be honest. I really, really would. So many people were like, Yankee Candle's so great. No, they're not. Their stuff is rubbish now. But anyway, gonna get changed. Have something to eat. Get some editing done because I'm, you know, determined to get some of these videos up. But yeah, there's stuff lately. It's been so shit. And I bought this stuff like last year. The stuff is so rubbish. And there are so many smaller companies now that um, do such good products. They need to up their game. Don't you know 